Doris Svitok. I'm the author of Flying Fingers, Master the Tools of Learning Through the Joy of Writing, and this is a book that I published at the age of seven. So if you're watching this, by the way, this is a continuation of my lecture series, Essay Made Easy, Part 2. So if you've not watched Part 1, I would advise you to go and search for that. And um, otherwise, I'm going to be continuing. So as I was saying, we need an introduction. Introduction with hook, and a hook is something that draws the reader in, hooks them in, like an anecdote or scenario. And we also need something called a thesis. And maybe you already know what a thesis is. It's a pretty common word. And what the thesis does is it presents our first arguments and also our main idea of the essay. So now, moving on. Supporting detail. The first supporting detail, sorry, I got a little whited out right there. And the first supporting detail is um, the first supporting detail basically in your essay. So, for instance, let's say um, I have my thesis, my old laptop is in bad condition, a new laptop will save time, and I use the laptop a lot. Well, what the thesis does is it summarizes the supporting details. And so each supporting detail has its own paragraph expand upon those details. For instance, if the topic is my laptop is in bad condition, expand to many of the keys are broken, uh, it doesn't have much memory left at all, it's battered and bruised, etc. So in a typical five paragraph essay, you want to have your introduction, your first supporting detail, and let me get another pen, your first supporting detail, second and third, and then, and then you want something called, any guesses? Yes, the conclusion. And what's so important about the conclusion is that your conclusion is your last attempt to really, your final attempt to convince your audience. You sum up what you said and you make your final time, and you can use phrases like all in all to put it shortly, etc., to round off your essay. And remember, you want to wrap it up satisfactorily. So when people read, they don't feel like, wait a second, that ended so abruptly. You want to give them a satisfactory conclusion. But here's another thing. Know your audience before you start writing. So for instance, let's say it's going to be my mom who will read this essay. Let's say I really want the laptop to play checkers, but since it's my mom who will be reading this essay, and She's big for education, and I might want to talk more about the studying part. So who's your audience? Is it giant killer aliens, polluting CEOs, or maybe car CEOs? It's more current events. Um, so always think about that. So again, let's have a little bit of review. The hook is the anecdote or scenario or rhetorical question, etc., whatever technique you use to hook your readers in, to draw them in, to get them interested in your essay. Your thesis is the paragraph where you put your argument in and summarize your supporting details. And you also declare what you believe and what you intend to prove. Your supporting details. Uh, your supporting details support the thesis statement and have their own paragraph and expand more upon what you summarized in the thesis. And your conclusion, very important, you sum up what you said and, and you make your final attempt to convince your audience. And remember, always know your audience well. Make sure that they are people, um, make sure that you know what kind of people they are like, what they like, what magazines they read, that sort of thing, what can help you in your writing. Okay, so writing activity number one. And we have two choices. Let's see, you can either start writing about um, a persuasive essay about why you, your principal should let you bring pets to school or writing activity two you can write a five paragraph persuasive essay of your own on a completely new idea and I would advise you to do it in around 10 minutes so just more of a quick first draft and you can always edit it later thanks for watching everyone see you and happy writing